not like show myself laughing. He's like, hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Be like, I like, don't trust anything you're about be to like, do. Hey, that looks so be like, listen, listen, my friend, which one do you like? Because uh, quite frankly, I'm a little offended you don't like them because they're, they're not energy drinks. You, you end up to understand it. <laughs> What, so you, you so Han, the group agreed to like have these in here to spawn like to fucking shout out and spawn. yeah we talked about them a few weeks ago I yeah i just i had to get those too. yeah yeah it's a I'm, local it's a local brand they're still young but they have a they have an instagram we said we could um tag them full i drink a large starbucks coffee and then that nick worst idea ever because well, it was free a for child. us we were there for a while and i just I was in pain that day. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm sure you were like shaking. I'm, I'm watching thinking. the Sopranos movie. Nice. Oh, I've been watching yeah. Happy Endings. What? What's up, Travis? What were you I I watched it, but I never got into the Sopranos. I thought they were a little too uh, two dimensional characters, and since I didn't really watch the show, I wasn't really too attached to the film, so I was kind of bored the whole time. Yeah, I uh. See, I fuck with the show heavy. Me and my family love it. Yeah, my dad. We, we, does, we also so. just like we also just like the wise guy shit. That's what we love. Yeah, I know some people yeah. like it. I just I, I guess I never got into it. Uh, no, I, I feel like it's so. a very like if you're into it, you're into it. If not, it's... yeah, no, I like I like most other stuff, but I I think it just comes down to the writing for that. I think that show was just too slow for me, so I was like, eh. And then the movie just again, I think it was the same thing. It was just a little too slow. Not much really was going on and the stuff that did go on it wasn't enough payoff to keep me in you know invested i was no, like, i got you oh, fuck this is then. i got you but i am watching squid game the thing uh, I, yeah. I was able to watch that i have seen the first few i'm loving it i watch i'm at episode six which i watched last night and that was the best episode by being the worst because it had multiple very humanizing and sad moments happening simultaneously and it i I'm not lying when I say this. I almost cried. I almost fucking cried. Like when it was over, I was like, Jesus Christ, damn. It was something. I uh I re- I just the other day I just started Attack on Titan. I mm. fuck with that shit. Heavy. That's great. Caroline, you should watch that one. No. Please do. I just want to see your reaction to it. No. I haven't seen anime in a month, and nor do I want to. So. Don't be an ass. I Don't tried watching I will be on Titan, but that's also one of those shows where I feel like they over talk too much when they just need to play out a quick situation. I'm like, can we just, he's going to punch you. Just let it happen. Dude. No, dude, you don't understand. If you think that they talk too much in that, do not watch other anime because that's like the least amount of talking for action type shit in that whole show. Like, dude, Naruto, they spend like three episodes talking about what they're going to do before they actually do it. And it gets very annoying. Why do I have $83 on that credit card? Oh, fuck. Sorry. So is it just us tonight? Uh, Ryan should be coming. Yeah. Um, I I kind of want to run this by you since you guys are um do a lot of the gaming too. Yeah. You guys know that you guys know played the old Left 4 Dead games, right? The I played the original and the second one when I was in high school. Yeah, yeah. you know, so you know about how Back for Blood's the basically it's the same people who made it, but like it's basically Left 4 Dead three. Uh, have you not heard of it? No. So back for blood, it came out today. Oh it's, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I heard about it. I just I, is that a Left for Dead thing? No, it's the same people who made Left for Dead, and everyone says it's basically Left for Dead three, oh. just under a new name. Like they've added shit to like make it modern and crap, like um, like the way like gameplay works. They said it's smooth and shit. So uh, and I look, it's cross gen, cross platform. Would we maybe want to do that for an idea for like streaming and stuff? Because it, obviously we could play all four of us. Did I lose you guys? No. no. no, no, no. I'm like cool with playing new video games because it's fun content of me getting mad. 
Well, they said it's also you really need to work together in this one because it, it, get, it gets hard. Oh, and then, yeah, I'm down for this. This would be better. Travis, would you be down because that we can play with you on PC now? Ooh, to play that game? Yeah. Uh, Is it out already? It came out today. It literally okay. came out today. It's uh, it depends on how much. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been spending really money on on games really as, as, for the past few months. I just don't really buy them. But I mean, if it's like a, a group thing, I mean, I might consider it. I don't know. Because I, I need more games where I can play with other people. Like I lately, mean, I, I got... agree with you. I have a I lot more too. fun when yeah. I'm playing with I, people. And don't get me wrong, I prefer single player just because I like a good story. But I, I looked at my games. I have nothing to play with other people besides Call yeah. of Duty, and I, I hate yeah, Call I, of Duty. Yeah, it's the same situation here. So like, I just and, and like the every once in a while, I if I do get a game that another friend has, they're on console, so I can't oh. play with them. But the, I looked at uh, if you want to do your own research as well, but it's cross gen, cross platform. How much is it? It's. I mean, it doesn't really uh, affect me. I'm gonna assume sixty because it's okay, just came bad. out. That's not bad. I need to know because I have to save last... money. Yeah, the last game I bought, I think, was, and it was, like, I think it was Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't even played it yet, but, like, um, it was on sale because it's been out forever, so. Mm -hmm. I wish the, um, I wish they made, I don't know, Nintendo, Nintendo needs to talk to all the gaming platforms and be like, hey, here's our games to put in your stuff so people can actually play well, them. It, think of it like how PlayStation has Spider-Man on its own. I know. How they've got a war. Like, they, they have started the perfect that. multiplayer games. Like, all of their games are basically multiplayer. They are perfect multiplayer. Like, if but no one has a freaking Switch. Like, if you're to tell I me that I thought about Smash getting the Old... Switch once, but then I was like, I just don't have a reason have to spend a that money. No. There's not enough games for it. That and I'm not sure. everyone has one, and it's like you want to play those games like Mario Party with your friends. Like, I don't want to play against computers, like, that's just not fun. It's yeah. just kind of sad, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just want one. I beat you, Take Mario 011207 hashtag one. <laughs> Suck it, Grim. Oh, wait, no, she's not here. I mean, if she... Dude, I, I, cause could you imagine Smash Brothers on a PlayStation or Xbox? That would, would be so much fun. Be a lot better. But I feel like they would actually get more money by doing that. Well, they're they're slightly doing it because Cuphead. I mean, well, Microsoft and uh, Nintendo have been working closely together. Like Cuphead. You see, this is why Xbox is, is superior. If you can name three games on X, the new Xbox right now, I'll admit it. The new X? Like, what? The new Xbox. Like, solely for the new Xbox? Yeah. Um, All the Beth new Bethesda games that are coming out? No, like, I mean, like, actually on there right now. Harry Potter? It's not out yet. No, I'm really sad it's not. It's also on PlayStation, so good try. Ah. <laughs> okay, but, like, give me a year, and then it's going to be, like, fuck PlayStation. You said, I think I've heard that several times when I had an Xbox last generation and then I regretted it and I have not regretted it once because now I can play Spider-Man 2 and I can play Venom. So, I'm good. I, I mean, okay, name, name, name Spider another... Spider-Man 2 thing is going to be pretty interesting. They also have Wolverine coming out. Uh, yeah, but that's like, that's so early in announcement. No, like, dude, that's like, that's not going to be out until like 2025 or I something. I know. I'm going to be so excited for that because I feel like that's just going to be a simple, but like, I'm going to be happy regardless. That's going to be so fucking awesome. Oh, uh, Caroline, did you want me to name three games? Because I clearly... Yes, please. You just... So you have the new Miles Morales game. You have Ratchet and Clank. You have Returnal, which a lot of people love. You have Demon Souls. That's just a few on the top of my head. I can keep going. Oh, Deathloop, which is actually made by Bethesda. Ha, huh, we have Forza. <laughs> Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Halo. I don't, oh, Halo. I don't really care about Halo. Um, Travis Halo got game, delayed. Uh, Ori and Will the Wisps is only... Never cared for it. Yeah. What about it? It's only um, Xbox. You got me there. Wow, you got Ori in the World of the Wisps. Sunset Overdrive, Forza, Halo. Sunset Overdrive was the first game on Xbox ha! One. Ha! Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is a time. Is there a way I can kick Caroline? Can I do that? 
No, you can't because I'm the host, bitch. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> sea of Thieves is a good game. It's just big time commitment. Yeah. yeah. You know what I really do want to play, hmm. but um, I for like only one reason I want to play Far Cry Six. Only for the sole fact that Giancarlo Esposito is I saw. Hey, project. so speaking of that, I got that game for how free. How is it? How? How did you get it for Be- free? Because when I built my PC, I, when I got my graphics card, sometimes they give you deals. So not only did I get codes for like Xbox Game Pass, but I got codes for like two new games. And one of them was for Far Cry 6 when it comes out and I forgot. <laughs> so when it released and it was like Friday, I was at work. It was like 3.30. I was getting ready to just leave. And I got an email saying, make sure to download Far Cry 6. I was like, oh, shit. Okay. No, yeah. So. yeah, they did a um, collab video with Mr. Beast for Far Cry. Mm-hmm. Because I lo- I watched the uh, I watched an ad for it today and he just makes me laugh because he does so fucking well with it. But I I know the game itself will be crap, but he's gonna be great. Oh yeah, I can't believe they got him to do it. Yeah, that's like a big actor. That's not yeah. like someone. Yeah, small. like he's it's, he's well. It, but known. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Games have really grown in no. reputation. Before it was like, uh, big actors don't do it, but now they realize there's a big market for it. So I, it's like a lot more accessible for mainstream. Well, now they're making a lot of TV or video games into TV shows. And movies. Yeah, like The Last of Us is going to be doing that. Did you see they started well, filming? Yeah, I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. I don't know. I, I, I mean, feel like they're going to, I, I, I have a weird feeling they're going to fuck it up. You know, they always, they always do. The perfect, the perfect choice for it was a TV show. I think yeah. the show makes much more sense than a movie, but I feel I, my problem is: are they going to drag it out? Are they going to do this or that? Like I don't. Know. I I'm a firm believer books and other when you do adaptions, they should all be TV shows unless it's like something really Harry Potter. I mean, like, short. like Harry Potter. Harry Potter works. Certain things do work. They could video games. S- I feel like you need a you they, need a TV show. They could have done so much more with Harry Potter, even if just like a limited series of like maybe like six or seven episodes a season. They could have done a lot more. I don't. I mean, if Mario gets his own movie, I guess the yeah. That I, I love what's her name, Anna Taylor Joy. But like Chris Pratt, no why sense. Chris Pratt? What, no, first of all, why Jack Black and like I love Jack Black, Seth yeah. Rogen? What, what, what are they for? What is this casting for? What I can't remember. The, the live Mario action Mario. Movie. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that is a weird casting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But Anna Taylor Joy is perfect for Peach. Is she though? Like, yeah, I feel like she's like got better shit to do than this. I feel like she's <laughs> than a Mario I mean, movie. Like I all mean, these actors are like kind of top guys. Like, how much money did they put into this? I'm just like, I just want it to end up being like. Did you guys ever see the live action TV show that was like part cartoon, part uh, live yeah, action? No, that was a movie. No, that was a movie. But, no, it was a TV show too. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Which one like, talking I remember about? getting them at Hollywood Video, and it was, like, episodes. The one with the guy from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I have no idea. But I it was, like, in the beginning, Mario. in the beginning, it was Mario and Luigi and, like, their face fit plumber thing live action, and then they would go into cartoon. That might have been it, yeah. Like, yeah, know. that. I want it to be like that, and they're just fucking with everyone. Oh, my God. That'd be great. All and then she's voiceovers. Is, I'm going to watch The Last of Us, but I don't know how excited I am. Because I, I loved The Walking Dead, and I think this could be so much better than The Walking Dead if, it, if done right. Yeah. I don't, I, mean, know. I don't know. Walking Dead, they got to 10 seasons. Like, go then. The Walking Dead just didn't know when it quit was the problem. They I mean, they're still going. Thing. They're still yeah, going. I, yeah. I'm sorry, Ryan. Hello. How are you? Oh, hi. Yeah. Hi. My name's Ryan. How are you? I'm Joshua. Nice to meet you, my guy. Yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, no, but oh. The Walking Dead is ending this season. This is the last season for Walking Dead. We're never going to see it ever again, except there's two I'm... spinoffs that are still going. Yep. I'm so The Walking Dead really isn't that. over. Even though the original series is going to be over, the spinoffs are going to keep coming. Did you hear that they might give oh. Rick his own spinoff? What is that? They might give Rick his own spinoff. Who's spinoff? What do you mean? Rick. Rick. Right? Oh, oh, Rick Grimes. Yeah. But I, I it doesn't that doesn't make sense because Rick I don't has care. been the I've main never seen character. The Walking Dead. All I know He's is not in it anymore. 
He, he got di- abducted. I, no, I, I, I know he died. He didn't die. He didn't die? Everybody he got abducted. Dies. Everybody dies. Just like he got look, Okay, but like, uh, like, hear me out real quick. Spinoffs are meant for side characters that whose story you want to explore more. No, but you he, he, got, for- he got picked up by people in helicopters. Like, that's... He did. Yeah. They're all dead. They're all going to die at the end anyway. They're all going to die. Oh, my God. You know what I saw this weekend, which is going to be really bad? Mm -hmm. It's going to be really bad when it comes out. It's still zombies. The live-action Resident Evil movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks... It looks like... Do not get me wrong. What, the reboot? Dude, it's so bad. The reboot right now? Who's in it? Went through it, a message. It, you know who's was, in it? Wait a minute, who plays Beck Alice? From uh, Beck is in it from Victorious, and he plays Leon Kennedy. It looks horrible. Leon. It Ooh. looks like they pulled cosplayers from Comic Con. They said, "Let's do this." The reboot's already coming out, dude. It, look it up. It's I'm looking at it right now. It says Resident Evil: Welcome to Raccoon City. It looks bad. <laughs> oh, speaking so, of, dude, send me the link, man. Speaking it, of Comic Cons, did anybody see the video of the Star Wars couple that were battling and then he proposed to the girl and it was actually really cute at New no. York Comic Con? No, really it's really cute. Where where'd you find? Is this that. on TikTok? Yeah. It's on t- okay. It's never I have to look it up on TikTok then, or something, or maybe I could just look it up on YouTube later. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's probably on YouTube now. Hmm. Okay. It was really cute. Beer. There we go. He's never cute. Wow, interesting. So the what is it, they were both dressed up as Jedi's? Yeah, and mean? they were dueling, and it was like a Jedi meetup. Nice. Was, yeah. That's a great way to get get proposed. That's that's great. That's that's true romance, in my opinion. Yeah. Seriously, that's that's how you do it. Speaking of which, yeah, a couple of my buddies were up there at uh, NYCC. Uh, Jason Swoboda from Seven Bucks a Pop. Him and his crew were there selling pops <laughs> like crazy. Uh, Mary Fan, who else was up there? You had uh, Glenn Hallman and oh, who's the other guy? Three writers from Crazy A Press were there, so happy for them. Mary Fan dressed up as Silk again. Nice. She was in her, you know, Silk outfit. Cosplayed it up. So good for her. Sold some books. She did well, or so, so I've been, uh, so I've been informed. I'm trying to think, who else was at New York? Oh, man. I'm trying to think, who are my other buddies were there? Jason. Oh, Ranger Stout was there. Mikey and his crew were there. He had like four Rangers signing at his booth. He had the Kia Baris, Karen Ashley, Steve Cardenas, and I think was it was it Johnny Young Bosch? Was it Johnny Young Bosch? I think it was. I think it was. Either way, they did big business because it's Power Rangers. What are you gonna do? No. Awesome. Yeah, I wish we were there, Caroline. That would have been big business. <laughs> Same, big same, business same. we would have made millions of dollars in i'll be there in we, two weeks if we were at nycc we could have made a serious killing you'll be work. where in two weeks new york for what oh, I, I thought you meant like i'm like it's over what are you talking i know about? sad it's sad i'll just take a picture outside the convention center go right ahead yeah. go right ahead no one's gonna be there but you know yeah. you tried you tried caroline you tried yeah but, going um, to nyc next week yeah is this uh, another uh, road trip or is this for, yeah. or is this for your internship no this is just for fun just for the fun of it okay thanks for inviting us with you um let's see so you're going to new york i'm trying to think there's you know what convention i really want to go to that my friend was at this weekend he was a vendor there bobby nash great writer by the way he was selling his books that it was two conventions in one it's called monsterama slash spy con so you get horror and you get spy. That's perfect. I think that works beautifully. So that's in, I believe it's, is it, is it Alpharetta, Georgia? Is that what I'm thinking of? Alpharetta? Yeah. So we need to get our keisters down there for that two, one, two punch convention in the same weekend. That would be fun. Travis will get his feel of the horror genre. And then the rest of us who like spy films like James Bond. We'll get our fill of spy stuff. So that I think that could be a fun convention to get some <coughs> B-roll footage of Caroline. <laughs> as long as you mean, you mean, you mean, you mean vlog footage. Yeah, vlog footage, B-roll, interview all the vendors, including Bobby Nash. But yeah. Ryan, as long as you're doing all the work in the filming and I can just, you know, fuck off, hell yeah. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. 
Dude, are you still salty from from a couple of years ago before the world ended when we were at Awesome Con? No, I was never salty, but it would be nice if I could just, you know, roam around like some people, not have to worry about anything. Sounds like you're still salty for 2019. I was never salty. I just started getting salty now, like right okay. this moment. Uh, you're you're, yeah, there's you're literally okay. a salt shaker right fair. behind you. That's fair. I can, yeah. I hear you, but it would be fun. It would be fun. You never know. Anything's possible, am I right? <clears throat> Yeah. Any, oh, uh, Nick, you'll appreciate this. I um, I did something called retail therapy, uh, and I got uh, the Richard Lester cut of Superman two, and then I got Justice League Paradise Lost. I think it is those last four mm-hmm. episodes of the original JL that lead into JLU. Nice. So that was pretty cool. I'm trying to think, I bought, yeah, I bought some DC films. I'm trying to think. It was those two, and they were selling the original uncut version of. Return of the Joker from Batman Beyond. I was like, dude, that deleted scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That scene's on YouTube. I don't even need another version of the film. But yeah, that. the best scene is on YouTube. It is. It but, is the, uh, the uncut speaking, scene. Speaking of DC, though, who's ready? Um, Travis and Ryan, you ready for Fandom this Saturday? Yeah, I'll watch all the trailers. So like two, oh two days. Um, Nick, do you want to get on top of that and make a few videos for that? When that that's happens? what I. That's what I was gonna say. My videos were gonna Woo! be. And I was just gonna do trailer reactions or even just like, um, like my my thoughts and stuff. Honestly, if you want, so you can get like live like actual Reaction. things. Um, you can just you know stream them and just go through each trailer and just make it a mega just live stream. Just like you do that on Twitch, Twitch, you can do it on uh, TikTok. No, possibly. I can get back to you on that one, but because I know just to make it I easier. Know, the things I know that will be there are Justice League, Kill, uh, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, Gotham Knights, the Batman, and a bunch of other surprises. They're saying the Batman. I w- I want the Gotham Batman. Knights and Suicide Squad. Uh, those are the games I'm really excited for. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, there's I'm like a, a hopeful for both. That. I don't know how great I, well, they're gonna I be just, though. I just want Gotham Knights because I like Red Hood. Red Hood's my boy. I, I'm, I'm going to get Gotham Knights because I have, I've made it an unspoken vow that I will just play every Batman Arkham sort of game. So this kind of fits into it. But just from what it looks like, I feel like they're taking a direction. I feel like it's not going to be as great. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be an improvement. In Suicide Squad, there's literally no gameplay release, which makes me worried that we might get something that we're not too pleased with. I don't know. And, uh, I suppose that's why there's a trailer Saturday. They have to hype it up. There hasn't been shit shown. So. Speaking of fandom, yeah. There you go, Nick. They need. Yeah, they're they never going to announce this, but if they drop that announcement at fandom saying this is going to be a Man of Steel two and Zack Snyder is going to be involved and Henry Cavill's coming back, I'm all for it. There's, they're they're, they're going to no. There's no way they do that. No, they're never going to do it. But if they were to do it, that'd be the best announcement coming out of fandom. I guarantee. It. I think Justice. What I think is going to happen is I really th- think Justice League two is going to be announced. Ooh. And what's going to happen is the Flash is going to be their way of like changing characters super quick, like. The reason Rebooting. actors are different, this and that. Like, very soft reboot. Yeah, it's very a soft, soft reboot. Yeah. Okay. I'd be, I'd be you know, if, if Snyder puts out a JL2, I'll like watch it. Please, more, don't make, you know. please don't make the first hour of the film all slow-mo, Zach. Okay? Hmm. Don't do you. the first half of that movie as slow-mo. I will say, if Zack Snyder didn't love slow-mo so much... Justice League would have been three hours, not four hours. That's what I was. Yeah, say. dude, I'm telling you that movie there was, was so much better. I loved it. I loved it, and you know that. But an the hour amount of times you had to skip through when I was watching it with you, Nick. Oh my god! No, you, you made me it? skip. You made me skip. I'm still mad at you. I actually trucked through it the first time I watched it. You didn't even finish it, Carolyn. I don't want to hear it. The best part is the ending. The best part is the ending, Carolyn. Well, the best part is the ending. The epilogue. The best part is the ending in the epilogue, for sure. The ending of the epilogue will never happen, <laughs> is the problem. I know. I want to see that epilogue, like, continued in, like, a dark, no, what is it, like, dark universe, not dark universe, but, like, Nightmare Part 2, whatever it's so called. So, wait, did they completely just change the ending of the movie? Yeah, it's a, hot, a 180 completely. It's an epilogue. It's really good. What happened? 
Watch so, it and find out. I don't know. I, why don't you watch we're being honest. No, no one said. Out. No one say. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> okay, I will Google just it. Watch it. It's ten <laughs> minutes of your life. Just just watch, watch the end. You you can literally skip it's to the final minutes. battle or even like that second half of the final. Ending of that. Yeah, it's ten. Like, how long was it, Nick? How, how long was <laughs> the epilogue? Like you ten, fifteen suck. minutes. Love you too, Nick. I'm going over. I love you too. I'm going over my curse number for you, Biddy. You what I did suck. kind of enjoy, fucking... Nick, even though it made him a little bit like, kind of like, a, okay, a little angry. But it was uh, when he was when he was talking to Joker, and he's like, "And I told her that when I kill you, and I will fucking kill you." I was like, "Damn, okay, <laughs> yes." He's like, oh, oh my, oh my god. Yes. He's like, "I can only teach you, never send a Robin to do a man's job." I was like, "Oh shit." <laughs> And I love the whole out of focus thing. And then he just, his face just goes into focus when he says it. And you just see his dead eyes. I was like, ooh, okay. He's like, surprise. I want to see more of that. My God. I want to see more of that epilogue. Oh, thank God. What? what? Batman died. What happened? Batman died. He didn't die, technically. He didn't die. He doesn't uh, die. What are you reading? The epilogue doesn't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading. This. He's the main <laughs> thing. Watch the like movie, the whole Caroline. Film. He's the main character of the whole movie. Stop being, stop being a dick. <laughs> Just watch the freaking epilogue, okay? God, it's so good. It's You're some of the best. in all that times, and it's disrespectful. It's, it's, dis- it's one of the best comic book movie scenes ever, and Nick could attest to that. Yes. It's that yes. good. But, yeah, um... Bruce Wayne dies. <laughs> what? She looked up. She looked up. She looked up the nightmare sequence, and she's watching the one from uh, uh, Batman v Superman. Is that's exactly. Oh, that's that exactly what what's doing? happening. That's Dude, the exactly BBS part doesn't even count. Exactly what's happening. The BBS doesn't even. She didn't even, count. even have time to type in what she was looking for. It that's literally says the Snyder Cut ending decoded. I'm leaving this interview one more time. If just you even remotely just try and watch it. it because. <laughs> It's some of the best comic book movie filmmaking ever. Just watch yeah. the last 30 minutes, Carolyn. Just watch yeah, the last 30 minutes. Yeah, mm. seriously. 30 minutes, it's nothing. It's a sitcom episode. It's like an episode of Young Sheldon. Yeah, but like sitcoms are funny and they're entertaining. Yeah. DC this, just isn't. Okay, well, this this is entertaining. Okay? It's entertaining. Mm. Shit, this shit entertains me. So. It does, I mean, seriously, we live in a society. We live honor in a society. honor is a distant memory. We don't have honor. Yeah, no, yeah, we sea don't creatures. Have honor. Sea. Where's Caroline's honor? Whatever happened to that? Whoa. I rest Whoa. 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 Calm down. Yeah, boy. exactly. Watch the epilogue. No. Just do it. Hey, listen, it's going to be better than watching a horror film you don't want to watch. I mean, anything's better than that. The horror. Speaking of which, that's where I was uh, just a moment ago. We were doing a uh, webinar on. Hollywood Halloween, the history of horror films. It was a fascinating webinar. It was really fascinating. They were talk- Most of the time, they were talking about the Universal, Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, Claude Boris. Green, Saul Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah, films. But of course, they mentioned Lon Chaney Sr., Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Nosferatu. A lot of German expressionism in the, uh, the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Yeah, which reminds me, I need to sit down and watch both that and Nosferatu. It's Nosferatu. Yeah, I know. By the way, Travis, huh. you watch both. I heard the Injustice movie was bad. Really? I heard the it was Injustice really bad. Movie? I, Dude, I, I, heard, heard, I haven't yeah, even watched that. I heard, it, I did a video, I heard it was really bad. I'm still going to watch it. No, I'm going to watch it, but I heard like they left a lot of crap out. Because it's a 75 and, minute movie. But like that's the problem. They don't do it. Make it a it's TV It's seventy five minutes. Every DC animated film that's ever been made, aside. I, oh, from it's animated. Film, it's animated. It's animated. Yeah, aside from the Batman Dark Knight Returns movie and the what's it called, the Long Halloween two part. Like those two part films are like three hours combined. But holy we, shit, I just realized. Yeah, but the nine... Injustice movie is a seventy five minute film, and I'm like, there's no way you can put a lot of storyline in a seventy five minute film. I think I should just do. Injustice content because I have 960 views on my Injustice. Why don't yeah. they do Injustice Year One as the first movie and then just keep doing it year by year that's, like you were? And that's what I, I I said. I think that's what they should have done. They should have done Year One. There's, it's like a two-hour. There's too much crap. 
It's well, let me ask you this. Like how, how long should each DC film be made if they're doing it justice year by year? Two keep, hour? Keep the original where it's like an hour 30 at max because okay. that's basically the standard for DC animated movies. Ryan, okay. you can attest to that. And All basically, right. you make it a year each because there's a lot of shit that happens in yeah. the comic. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's a lot of shit. Dude, and they tried year, stuffing it in one movie. The year one of my trade paperback of Injustice is this thick. And I'm like, there's no way you could put 75 minutes in one, 75 minutes of that in one film. You got to put two hours in it. Just like The Dark Knight Returns was a three hour movie. God. But, uh, I'm still going to be Injustice, though, but I'll get back to you. I mean, it's on HBO Max by now, right? Yeah, I don't okay. know. Well, if it's on HBO Max, think. I'll just stream it. Or if I go to but, Target uh, next weekend, I'll just buy it there. But to, uh, so we don't get fully off track. Um, my main things are DC fandom. And then if we're all in for Back for Blood, which it seems like we are, and then we just, if Greg wants to hop on, then we can all do it because it's a, you can go four at a time. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to edit this recording well, of, um this. Have a lot of good shit yeah because we've just been talking about everything that's been happening and there's really no need for edits and there's been a lot that's happened and the last yeah week. Do not do and work and there's plenty more to come heck yeah you know me always boys. cutting corners always cutting Cut corners. corners with corners. um what else can we make that a jingle what's well, the no, movie it's that's lito's things we never cut corners oh i oh lito's pizza is good no mm. no no you don't understand no you don't understand we do cut corners what do so you gonna every do pizza when you're being ever. lazy? Yes. Yeah, but Lido's is good though. No, no, like we're like those assholes. Like we just straight up cut off the crust. So yeah, that's true. To hold, but you have to Lito's hold the what? cheese like the in your hand. The crust is the best part. Is it? No, that's what I'm saying. We we cut corners. Oh yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Crust is corners. the best part. I will defend that with my law. No, no, my, I, my, I, I, really? I think it's. I yes. think that people like that aren't fully educated. I politely ask them to leave my home. <laughs> But other than that, yeah. We should all get it's together. Like, it's like videos. that and people who believe pineapple deserves to be on pizza. Okay, well, fuck you, Dick. I have a two-star two thing for you in my, in my backyard. We, we should all go to Lido's one night. You just go to an all-you-can-eat. Please, I worked at a pizzeria, Caroline. I know the standard. We do that? <laughs> hey, Caroline, we should vlog that. I'm down. All of us going to Lido's together? Yep. We that should. would be chaos. Uh, that would be chaos, person. though. We got to put an in-person day again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. Thoughts on the last weekend of November? If I can make it, I'm in. Or the, how think... about this? The weekend before Thanksgiving. Mm. I just have to check. Here's like I just I bought. I forget what day there. I'm buying chief tickets with my dad. Mm-hmm. If it's not the same weekend, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna put this in my calendar. Everyone, just put it in your calendar right now. That's Saturday. Ryan, Ryan, I made a pack. I'm going. You're going to the. <laughs> I'm going to Arrowhead. Saturday, the twentieth of November. Just block out. Do not plan anything. Whoa, whoa. For what? Saturday the twentieth. Hold on a minute. For November what? the twentieth. We're gonna try For and what? find a person. November. November. I do have my show that day at noon. I do have a show, but oh yes, yes, yes. Out. I mean, it's and I quote Saturdays, Caroline. Yeah, so, you know. I know, but Saturdays is going to be the easiest day to do anything. Cool, because I have my show from like noon to one thirty, and then whatever. Because yeah, I, I, I think some of our best videos came from that. Like we did when um, me and Travis are doing the head to head. Yeah. Um, like all the other stuff. Did we ever do the uh the one with like the video game soundtracks? Mm-hmm. We did that. Didn't you? No, no, we did it, but did it ever go up? I think it did. We didn't do a video game soundtrack. Didn't? Yeah, we did. did. No, that was that was live. We did that live. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you did that live. There was uh, was, Nick. There was footage of yours that you need to edit. Yes, I still have done that. Yes. Well, now you know. So before you talk about anyone else filming anything, you need to edit. (sighs) Okay. Okay. Editing. Cool. Cool. Right. By the way, did our link Good go job. up for buy me a pizza or buy me a coffee? Did yeah, it should free? be up. It should work. Okay, because I haven't gotten... Unless it didn't get approved. Let me try it. Can you, like, double check on that? Because I'm going to check what, doing. what you posted on Twitter. Oh, no. What? Did, it, did they turn us down, really? 
They might have. How can they turn us down? We're like a legit channel. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. It's it's still under review. You know what? Let's <laughs> review them. <laughs> it says, oh no, I got a 404 error when I click on it. Yeah, it's still under review. How can it take them that long to approve? God. I don't know. We're a what legit channel trying to bring okay. happiness and peace to the world. What is wrong with these executives? Gosh almighty. Don't they understand okay. we're trying to make the world a better place and not make it worse? Jeez. Unless um, um, unless anyone else has yeah. something to add, I got to go because I have to help Good my- Good night, Nick. I have to help my dad clean wine bottles for Friday. That is <laughs> so Italian. <laughs> Dude, You're when I say wine bottles for Friday, my dad, me and my me and my family make our own wine, and we're crushing grapes Friday, and we have to clean them before bottling on Saturday. Oh my gosh, that is Nick, dude. How, when I say how much dude, of a, how, I wish how, I was kidding, how, how so uh, many fucking how good of friends are so we? Many. If you uh, might want to send a bottle my way, I will. <laughs> next time we no, I'm being serious. Next time we do a get together, I'll bring a few bottles. I'm, I'm, oh dead, serious. I'm dead serious too. That, that you understand, and and. And our little in our little community, that's a sign of family right there. Oh, dude, I'll bring a bottle of wine. I'll bring I'll bring everything home, man. Don't worry. But Get a little Pinot own... Gris. You red, red, red we wine. make what we kind make of wine? wine? What kind of wine? Cabernet, Merlot, Guinea Blend. We have. I uh, live. A few I like a good we have, Cabernet. We have we Cabernet. have a few things. We have a few things to be honest. It's pronounced but Camboli. The best part is we have a label. <laughs> It's mm -hmm. called Nove Dite. It's got like a bite in the sandal because my dad only has nine toes. One got bitten off by a bluefish. <laughs> so we call it Nove Dite. Nine toes. <laughs> Dude, do you have your own label? Yeah. I'll send a picture. This, yeah, I'll send a picture in the chat when I get a chance. Dude, put it in the chat. I didn't know your family had a wine business. No, we don't. We literally make it in my grandma's basement. It's literally just for us to be drunk. Okay, but we don't right. sell, we don't sell so, this. We literally just it's just for us to be drunk. <laughs> okay, all right. Hell it's yeah, nice that's what you're supposed Basically, to do. Basically, it's a family hobby is what you're trying to. Say. I'll I'll send pictures on Friday. Just remind me. Do it, man. It's, send it's us a funny pictures. process. Send it's us a funny pictures. process. We'll put them up on Instagram. Well, awesome. I also have on my birthday. I have to carry eighty crates of fucking grapes down to the basement. <laughs> that's what? Sad. Um, really quickly before you leave, though, uh, my video is going up Friday. I tier ranked all the. Halloween candy for, you know, to enjoy while binge watching TV. Um, and I got very heated over it. So that's going up Friday. Um, next week is, I think Nick, it, Nick. Yeah, I think you're next, Nick. Um, this upcoming Monday? Yeah. Or that right, week. I'll have, yeah, well, that's perfect because I'll have fandom shut down. Week and then it's, or it's, right? And then it's Tra Ruth and then Travis and then me, correct? Perfect. Right? That's the way we've been doing it. So I'm yeah. always after Caroline, then, just so I know. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm going to make a note of that. Yeah. yeah actually, I do. I do want to do that. Anyway, so just you... to answer your question, Caroline, I'm just doing the same old, same old, unless you had any more questions for me. No. I mean, this is about to end. I mean, uh, another person signed.